Hi, my name is Fiska V, and you're watching the Shiva Minute. Now the terrain doesn't look too bad anymore, but it's really, really empty, and you're probably wanting to add vegetation. There's basically two layers of vegetation in Shiva, which is grass and a custom layer. Custom seeds models and grass seeds sprites or textures. To demonstrate how it works, I will just add a new grass. Leave the color to gray, or maybe give it a light green hue. For the lighting, I can modify how much it's influenced by the light map, which we do not have yet. Grass is automatically animated by the wind amplitude and speed values. Grass has also a height and a slope value, just like the other materials. Let's zoom in. And there's our grass. It's really, really much too small and way too sparse. So we change that. And there's our grass layer. I have to agree it looks really unnatural, that's because it only uses one color. If I were to create a terrain with grass, I would have to use at least two grass layers with different colors, different sizes and different wind speeds, etc. Now the grass goes well beyond the sea level, so I will just modify the height, the min height, so let's say 3. Aspect regulates how much the texture is stretched while view distance limits the amount of grass that's drawn in the distance. Slope influence also regulates how grass is drawn onto the slopes or not. Trees are basically the same thing. Use a custom layer and choose a model. I have no trees here, so I will use a barrel. Imagine this were trees. The values are the same as for grass. Now the thing about trees is you probably want them to be upright, so you have to use the slope influence value as well as the slope max values to get a decent result. Now that the seeding of objects only works with single objects, not with groups, and they currently do not have collision detection.